Hi friends, it's story time and today we are going to read this book Simple Machines. This book is written by DJ Word and it is illustrated by Mike Lowery and we can see by the cover that this book is about or study about simple machines and we can see on the front cover the lever on the seesaw and with the fulcrum we can see the wedge the ramp the wheel and axle we can see the screw and we can see on this flag to lift the flag up a pulley and uh, this book has also the cover, it has a spine here on the side, and it has the back cover. Very good. So let's see what it says on this book. We see a boy here riding his bicycle. And here we have so many examples of simple machines. For instance, we have the blinds from our windows. And you know what simple machine is used to lift the, the blinds? Hmm, I will let you think about that. Think, what makes us or what helps us to lift the blinds in, the, in our windows? And... At the beginning, the book will talk us about some problems that simple machines can help us to solve and then we will read about the lever have you ever had to move something really heavy how did you do it you see we have here a box of toys how can we move this heavy box did you grab it from underneath and lift with all your might did you lean your shoulder into it and push? Did you tie a rope to it and pull, 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 like on this picture? Hmm. Or did you use a machine? Did a machine with a machine you don't have to lift or push or pull so hard? Machines make work easier. Yes, this is a good idea. Machines make the work easier here try this thanks dad and you see we have this car this trolley with with a wheel and a lever it's two simple machines combined to lift the box and to move it around and now it's easier because machines make work easier so it's easier to transport the the box to move it away that's why machines are everywhere look around your neighborhood we use machines to help us get around machines machines help us dig and build and knock things down they help us reach way up high cars Bulldozers and lawn mowners are machines with lots of moving parts. But not all machines are so complicated. Some are so simple that you might not even think of them as machines. They are called simple machines. So we have these machines here. These machines, they help us, they make our work easier, but they are not simple machines. And then there are these simple machines that we are studying, like the lever, the wheel and axle, the pulley, the ramp, the wedge, and the screw. These are six simple machines. Let's learn more about the lever. Number one here in this book is the lever. Let's learn about the lever. Think about the seesaw. You sit on one end of a long board. Your friend sits on the other side. Up I go, you see. One friend goes down and the other goes up. 
The board rests on something in the middle that lets each end tip up and down. By pushing down on your end of the board, you can make your friend go up. And you see, this is the piece in the middle where the board moves up or down. If this side is down, this is up. If this side comes down, this will go up. And the movement is made here, on the center. I wonder, how do we call this piece on the center of the lever? Have you ever tried to lift your friend without using a seesaw? If you try with your arms, with your strength, with your hands, it's very heavy. But you can do it with a seesaw. When you are in the playground, you just have to sit and go down and you are lifting your friend and it's so easier. It's hard, isn't it, to, to grab your friend and lift it up with your hands? The seesaw makes lifting your friend easier. It's a simple machine. And here we see again. The seesaw is a simple machine called a lever. All levers have two parts. The first part is a board or a rod that won't bend or break easily. So this blue part is the lever and what's the name of this one or the second one let's see maybe the book will tell us the other part is something that will let the lever turn or tip this is called the fulcrum the fulcrum so this is the fulcrum when you push down on one end of a seesaw the other end goes up when your end lifts up, the other side goes down. And at the center, we have the fulcrum. Try to memorize this word. Now you know what a fulcrum is. Let's see what they say here more about the board, the fulcrum, and the lever. Oh my gosh, I see the pictures and I see the text. What will this page? Tell us about this. Making your friend go up is easy because you both are about the same weight. But imagine instead if your mom or dad were on the other side. They weigh much more than you do. It would be very hard to make them go up. You might get stuck high off the ground. But if we change the seesaw, you can lift them. You see? If we change the size, we can lift the heavy thing. If we put the heavy thing, the heavy father or the heavy elephant in the shorter side of the lever, and we have a big lever, we can even lift up an elephant or dead. Move the fulcrum closer to your mom or dad so there is more of the board on, on your side. Push down on the long side. The closer the fulcrum is to your mom or dad, the easier they will be to lift. You see, if the fulcrum goes here to your dad's side, it will be easier for you to lift your dad. If you have a long enough lever, you could even lift an elephant. And elephants are big and heavy. Wow! This is amazing. How can these simple machines be so useful and so powerful? Oh, and is this a simple machine? Let's see. It says, crack, because the ball hit the stick, rod and fulcrum. Levers are not only good for making us stronger, they can also help us make things go faster. It's not only about strength, it's also about speed.
So levers are not only good for making us stronger, they can also help us make things go faster. Pick up a stick and wave it back and forth in the air. Can you see what the end of the stick moves very fast? Can you see that the end of the stick moves very fast? You are using the stick as a lever and your wrist as the fulcrum, like this. As the fulcrum here, you see? You move your wrist a little and the end of the stick moves a lot. Baseball bats work this way. With a twist of your wrist, you make the end of the bat move really fast. Hit the ball with a fast moving bat and the ball goes fast too. You see the ball is going so fast. A lever is one kind of simple machine. But there are more. And tomorrow or another day we will read about the next simple machine. The wheel and the axle. And for today I will ask you to find examples of levers at your home. Do you have any lever at your home? Or do you remember any lever in the playground of your school? Let me know. Send me a video telling me what, what levers do you have at your home or in your school. And I'll see you another day. Bye-bye, my friend. Bye.